back to our Chase the A series here with FC Basel. We're trying to chase down the Wexford youth here in the Premier League. This is our first season in the Premier League, of course. Wexford sit in fifth, and we sit in seventh after eight games. Now, this is a big episode. We've got some big teams to play in this one. We do have Bayern Munich, but they do sit down in a 17th position. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got Manchester United as well. And I think we have Napoli in the EFL Cup. So a fairly big episode. Let's get into it first and foremost, though, with a player upgrade. All right, today's player upgrade comes from our German right back in Zuck. And this one comes from our good friend at Tomahawk79. If you don't know who he is and you like live streams, go and check out his channel, subscribe. And uh, he'll give you some good Aussie banter as well if you're just looking for some content to uh, follow along on uh Top bloke, Tomo. Um, all right, so this one had seven thumbs up, so that's why uh, he's getting the upgrade. And I had to get through the whole comment here. He, he likes to leave uh, real interesting comments, which is great. Uh, he wants the number 79, some red and white wristbands or boxing gloves, so we've done one of each there, and uh, some fluoro orange boots. Well, I found these nice lotto orange boots there for Zuck. Uh, tight kit, untipped, tucked, and uh, he is ready to go. The American commander does a German commander nuts, apparently. All right, fuck it. Let's get into this episode. All right, we start off here with the final report from Ghana, and there's some great names floating around, but uh, there won't be any signings here from Ghana. Um, there's good 94s. Mamadou Agbeku looks pretty decent, but uh, a very low valuation of 90 grand. Uh, Kene Kiaga looked good as well, but only a 70 grand. We, we're only signing really high-class players now into this youth academy, so that ends our time here in Ghana. All right, we are here in Mexico, and uh, I didn't think I would be signing anyone here looking through this uh, report, but... Uh, this lad here, Telmo Prado, did prick my interest. 51 to 67 overall, 74 to 94 potential goalkeeper. And uh, if those reactions are high enough, he could be something special. So we will sign him into the academy and keep an eye on him. And we are here in Portugal. And once again, uh, just some okay players, but uh, nothing worth signing in. So uh, we'll end our time here in Portugal. All right, of course, we will continue to scout. So let's uh, hit the random number generator. We're going to number 59. This one comes from David Aguilia, and he wants us just to scout Mexico. So back to Mexico again for any player. All right, next one is number 12. This one comes from Too Much Lovers, and he wants Norway for wingers. And the final one is number 30. This one comes from Jude Slaney. Thank you for your comment. Uh, he wants Finland for physically strong. All right, here we go. It is the first game of the episode in the Premier League. It is FC Basel and Bayern Munich. Now, this is just another tough encounter here. We know this season is going to be full of challenges, but uh, hopefully we have got the, the team, the unit, the strength, the persistence to get through here and knock off a quality side that is Bayern Munich. Obviously, we're into the seventh season of this career mode, so it's nice to see the team lineups before we get into the games, just to see what kind of transfers these lads have made and what kind of team they're putting out on the park. Not having the best of seasons is Bayern Munich. They're sitting down in like 17th position. We've slipped back to eighth uh, at this stage. Uh, a few games have been played. But um, Bayern Munich, well, usually they are the all-star side that controls FIFA throughout the ages. Winning lots of Champions Leagues and the likes. The Basel lineup, the changes are Zuck in at right back with his new boots. And Lucas White will be playing in the cam role today. He's done some good things there uh, coming on as a sub. So we'll give him the start here against uh, Bayern Munich and see if he can create some opportunity for the lads up front. I'm just wondering who is in this Bayern Munich side. Uh, we've got them in their alternate kit. Because, uh, one thing you notice with Basel is, is a lot of kit clashes. Because they've only got a black kit and a white kit. But here is the Bayern Munich lineup. They've got Porath, not sure who he is between the sticks. Boateng, Kaufman, Nathan Ake, Costa, Sun, Neuer is on the bench, Thiago on the bench, Lewandowski on the bench, Hummels on. People just underestimate who we are. And hopefully that is enough to get us over the line here today. Stuart Atwell is the referee. Let's get into this game against Bayern Munich and see if we can put three points on the board. Oh, Azevedo just slips past two. Works his way inside. That's a great move from Azevedo. Passes this one off to Martin. Oh, that's his first goal for the season. That's for sure. The little American left back skips forward with his top knot and smashes it in the back of the net. What a run that was from Azevedo. 
just weaved his way through three or four, finds Martin who's crept forward, smashes it home past Porath who didn't even have time to sneeze. And it is 1-0 to FC Basel here. First blood to the Basel. Gets in there. Great work, little Martin. Five minutes and it's 1-0 Basel by Munich. Well, you can see now maybe why they're towards the bottom of the table. They're not sending out their top team and that's what happens. Oh, here's Azevedo again and they've given him the space. And Azevedo streams forward. Can he get a cross in here? Tries to bring it back, and he does. Lamas tries to get on the end of it, and it's Dahan who shoots, but Porath makes the save. No, oh, Thomas, Lamas. No one's gonna catch this kid. He's got superior pace. He works his way through the traffic. Still going is the Lama. Can he come back inside? He can. Works his way inside, takes the shot, and Porath makes a good save. What a majestic run that was from Lamas. Now we have the corner. Dahan whips this one inside. Here's the header. Straight at the keeper. There's a run here. Lucas Dahan. Sips this one forward for White. Brings it off. Here's the Lama. Oh, good save. De Groot puts it in. 2 0 FC Basel. Bayern Munich get back on the bus. 42 minutes gone, and it is De Groot who gets the goal. I think that's his first of the season. It is. Well, the Lama doing all the business in the box, works the keeper. And De Groot comes in and finishes off the job. FC Basel have come to play, and it's what we like to see here. Well, Bayern Munich with a free kick here just before half time. Let's see if they can work something out here. No, it's Rossi. Azevedo off to the Lama. And Azevedo makes the run for him. He obliges the run, does Azevedo. Comes back through the middle, Azevedo. Looks for an opening, this is a great run. Azevedo, oh he's worked the keeper, it doesn't matter, he's been wrecked. And it will be a penalty, what a run from Azevedo. Red card for RK. see you later dickhead. Go and have yourself an early shower and a wank mate. Just before half time, get a haircut. It is a penalty and FC Basel completely on the front foot here. Ah, oh, brilliant run from Azevedo, a rash challenge. See you later, down to 10 men. And it is the Lama to step up. Can he finish this one? Yes, he can. Thomas Lama's getting his third goal for the season. That one's from the spot. Flying down to 10 men. And this one is done and dusted at half time. Lovely little finish from the spot from the Lama. Lama, 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 duck. Lama, Lama, duck. All right. 3 0. It's not even half time. Come on, boys. And there is the whistle. So 3 0 to Basel at half time and Bayern down to 10 men. And Zuck. And Lamas was calling for it. And he wheels his way through, takes the strike. Whoa, that's hit the crossbar. And it's all Basel at the moment. Oh, Demota Pinto just strips him of the ball. And here is Thomas Lamas. Waits for the runner. Gets it here from Loffler. Loffler dropped. Oh, ref! <laughs> Serious? Thomas Lamas. Slips this one off, Dahan. oh, gets the run here, Demota Pinto, oh, 4-0, what a strike from Demota Pinto, and it's 4-0 FC Basel here against Bayern Munich, the Swiss sign have turned up, down the 10 men, and Demota Pinto, that was a clean finish, it's his second goal of the season, and it's 4-0 to FC Basel, probably should have put Neuer between the sticks, oh well, and there is the whistle. So a 4-0 demolition of Bayern Munich for FC Basel. Well, 13 shots, 11 on target. We had the upper hand, that's for sure. 14 tackles all over Bayern Munich like a cheap suit. Azevedo gets a man of the match performance, 9.5. Lamas with a 9.4. And uh, Martin even chips in with an 8.9. Just a decent performance all round to take down Bayern Munich. All right, here we go. It is a wet, wet evening here in Italy to take on Napoli in the AFL Cup. And uh, we're gonna send out the reserves team pretty much here and see if these boys can get the job done. So uh, some faces that you may not have seen around the club too often, but uh, we're into the round of 16 here. The Western Dukes haven't got that far, so stuff them. Brisbane are there, Orlando are there. Some decent 
subpar teams from League 2 pushing through. Here is the Napoli lineup. It's somewhere between the sticks. They've got Sterling and Milik that we'll have to keep an eye on. I'm sure we just played these guys. So uh, let's see if we can get the wool over them once again. But on uh, the Basel side, the rotations are rolling through now as we get to see some of the younger players coming through to play these cup games. And uh, here we have Zorna between the sticks. Stoyanovic, Mistreta, Santoso as the captain with Cabrera at left back. Lofa and Harris are in the midfield. Then we've got Sabale on the left, Decker in the cam roll, Akoto on the right, and Big Coxie is up front. All right, let's get into this game and see if we can push through to the quarterfinals of this EFL Cup. Sabale shows his skill. Works his way forward. That's a nice little touch on for Decker. Back to Sabale. Oh, great block from the defender. There's Loffler, and he's got an acre of space. Wicks his way down the wing. Oh, drilled. Cox has picked up the crumbs, though. Here is Cox. Takes a big strike, and it's a big goal for Cox. 1-0 FC Basel. Well, that was fucking lethal from the big Australian forward. Loffler went down. Cox still takes the game on. Wheels around onto the left and smashes it into the top left corner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Get yourself a big Cox T-shirt. It is 1-0 FC Basel. Oh, good steal from Okoto. And he pushes away here, Okoto. He's got support, but he decides to take the game on himself. He's using his pace and his skill. And he whips this one into the box, looks for Cox. Picked off. Decker gets it in and picked off. Finds Sabale. And Sabale has put it wide, but there is half time. And it is 1-0 to FC Basel. There's a ball. Loffler. Punches it forward. Finds a Cotto. Oh, good save from Sommer. And he recovers the ball. Oh, we've got an injury. And look who it is. Sabale. Oh, he's gone down again. We'll bring on Demota Pinto. Well, Sabale loves a good injury. And down he goes. And that's his day over. Looks like an ankle. And Demota Pinto comes on. Oh, good save from Zelna. And it is a corner now for Napoli. They whip it inside. Up comes out. Demota Pinto tried to get a touch. Chips it over the top. Wants the run here from Decker. Decker, can he punch it forward here for Stojanovic? He did, but picked off there by Tinelli. And it is Napoli pushing hard again now. Oh, great save from Zorna. Milik took the shot. And Zona, I think he's what, 15, 16, 17 years of age maybe, already balding. That is not a good sign, but a cracking save there. And it is a corner now for Napoli, 69 minutes gone. We've made a couple more changes. Engstrom checks in. Gets this one forward. Okoto, off to Lund, takes the strike. Oh, that is a brilliant goal from Lund. His first of the season, that's for sure. A lovely finish to the top right corner. It's 2-0 FC Basel. Well, he started off the play, fed it off to Okoto, got it back, sized up the shot and took it perfectly. And it is 2-0 FC Basel. That is an exquisite goal from Lund. Get in. Work from Lund. Engstrom. Slips on forward for Okoto and here's Demota Pinto. He's got the space. Demota Pinto. Oh, great save from Sommer. Will it go out for a corner? Yes, it will. Work from Engstrom. Slips this one off. Lund with a great touch and a great turn. Demota Pinto. Oh, tried the fake shot, but Sommer was quick enough. Lund. Cox. Demota Pinto again. Breaking in from the wing. He's got to get one now. No, another good save from Sommer. Unlucky. Demota Pinto has looked very threatening from the left hand side. But it's a victory for Basel, and we go through to the quarterfinals of the AFL Cup. Well, six shots, three on target, 50% possession, but 21 tackles. That's where the game came into hand for Basel. Okoto gets an 8.8 .8 man of the match performance, but uh, it was a very good effort from just about everyone, I felt. Well, we knew it was a bad injury. Sabale has broken his ankle now, and he will be missing for three months. He just loves getting injured, doesn't he? All right, here we go. It is game number three and a big encounter this one. Manchester United at Old Trafford and FC Basel have hit a little bit of form. Let's see what the boys can do today. Back with the first team with a few small changes. 
Just trying to keep the rotations going, try and give someone a game when we can, and if we're in form, we'll try and do the job. They've got De Gea between the sticks, so uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit troubling, and Pogba is in this side as well, so it looks like Manchester United are sending out a decent team for us to take on. Jose Mourinho. What has he got installed here for Basel? Well, we sit in fourth now. We've gone above the Wexford use. Uh, only on goal difference, though. And Manchester United here just below us in fifth position. So nice and tight here around the top of the table. It'll be interesting to see what Basel can do here at Old Traffle. At, uh, Old Traffle. Welcome to Old Traffle, everybody. Um, <laughs> here we go. They've got Fosu Mensa, Rojo, Regan Paul. Okay, Mkhitaryan, Martial. Okay, uh, Dybala and Akadi and Aubameyang all on the bench. Hmm, so they've definitely got some firepower coming on later in the game, but uh, that's not to say that there's a lot of firepower on the pitch already. So this should be quite an interesting encounter. Let's get into it. FC Basel, Lamas back up front today. White is going to take that camera roll. That is his now for the taking. We're going to try Osgaard out at centre-back. He's a 69 overall. Uh, he asked for a game, so why not? Let's give him a crack and see what we can do here against Manchester United. Douglas De Haan. Slips through. Off to White. There's Lamas. Gets the run. Azevedo! Fuck you, De Gea! It's FC Basel on the attack, and it's Azevedo really making a name for himself here. He was signed up to Wexford Youth as a Youth Academy prospect. He was sold off. And then we went and made the purchase, and now that is really coming into fruition. He is grabbing the ball by the horns and getting another goal for the season. What's that, his third or fourth? And it is FC Basel taking first blood here at Old Trafford. No problem at all. Gets in, son. As a Vado, second Premier League goal in five minutes. It's 1-0 FC Basel. Challenge from Lucas Dehaan. And he skips away here. Great work here from Dehaan. Cuts back through the middle nicely. Oh, dropped in the box. Falls to Noble. Lazarus takes the strike and puts it over the top. Noble Lazarus. Azevedo slips this one down the line for White. That's a great ball. Thomas Lamas. Oh, Lama Lama Duck. Lama 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 Duck. Get in. 29 minutes. It's 2 0 FC Basel. And no team is a match. For this Swiss team. Oh, mate, it's fucking holy cheese all round for these lads tonight. Lamas just destroys De Gea. And it's 2 0 Basel here at the old Traffle. Oh, great challenge. Great challenge. And it's De Haan now. Slips it forward to White. He gets this one forward. Looks for the Lama. Oh, picked off by Riley. Good defending. Mr. Groot. Oh, there is the whistle. So FC Basel flying out of the blocks. And it's 2 0 here at half time. Sips it forward. Thomas Lamas back to the run of White. Doesn't get it. Thomas Lamas gets the ball back here. Here's Noble Lazarus. Can he set something up here? It's getting marked quite closely. Slips this one forward. Thomas Lamas picked off by Rojo. Martial gets this one forward. It's Mata. And he slips it forward and they've brought on Dabala. It's Dabala and Martin. Sabelli comes out. It doesn't matter. Dabala comes on and immediately has an impact. Manchester United back into the game. It's 2-1 here. 51 minutes gone. Well, they got us on a counter break. Martin just pushed off there by Dabala. And a cracking finish there from the young Italian. No, he's not Italian. What the fuck are you talking about? Where the hell is Dabala from? I never know this shit. I just know that he's a good player. <sighs> well, 2-1. Well, it is a corner here for Manchester United. They've just substituted Pogba. That's different. Sabelli makes a good punch out. We'll have to wait and see if we can get the ball back here. No, they come forward. Martial whips it into the box. Zap gets up. De Groot tries to punch this one out. Fonsu Mensa, Mkhitaryan back to Fonsu Mensa. Oh, Sabelli. Good save. Manchester United working their way into the game now. They've got another corner, 66 minutes gone. This one goes up and over the back. And that will be another corner for Manchester United. Where are they going with this one? De Groot. That's the touch on and just clears it out. All right, 2-1 up. Let's make some substitutions. 
And uh, some interesting moves here. Azevedo, Dehan, and De Groot all go off the pitch. Engstrom, Hofstetter, and Shigari coming in. It might be Hofstetter's first game for the club. I'm not 100% sure. He's going to come in on a right wing. I think he's a 68 overall right winger. But uh, we'll put Engstrom out on the left wing, and Shigari is going to play Cam. And White stays on but moves back to a centre midfield position. Block from Rossi. It's a good ball through, and here is Shigari. Works his way forward into the box. Gets the pass back. It's Thomas Lamas. Oh, blocked by Paul. Oh, Hofstetter. Oh, he's hit the fucking crossbar from there. Oh, Lamas takes the shot. It's all happening. De Gea with the save. Well, how did we not score a fucking goal there? Hofstetter on a silver platter. Just puts it into the crossbar from directly in front. And that's gone from Lamas through Hofstetter's legs. De Gea with the save. And a corner now for FC Basel. Zuck gets a piece of it. Martial trying to get it, but De Gea cleans it up. There is Shigari, and he's got pace and space. And he takes off here. Cuts back through the middle, gets the run here. Thomas Lamas. Oh, and lucky. Absolutely laced it. And it's gone over the top. Oh, key opportunity there from Lamas, and De Gea just doesn't get a finger to it. It's a goal kick. Cuts through the middle here, White. Oh, drilled. Well, there is the whistle. It's a 2-1 victory for Basel at Old Trafford. Well, Basel came to play. 11 shots, only five on target. Pretty even tackles. But uh, a great game up front there from Lamas. He gets an 8.9. All right, must be time to upgrade Lund. If you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comments. I'll get it happening in a future episode. All right, so here we go. Ten games played, and the chase is well and truly on. We sit in second position, two points behind PSG, but the Wexford Youths are nipping at our heels as well with 19 points. You couldn't have asked for a better start to this Premier League season with both of our teams really pushing hard to see who can take this Premier League title. With 10 games in, what's that leave us? 28 remaining. It's uh, almost November. We will have uh, another episode coming up for you shortly. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying this series if you've continued to watch it on this long. I do appreciate your time and we will see you in the next episode. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.